excited. In this video, we're going to look at paint filters in KOWP. And before you get too excited, I'm going to go ahead and tell you I can't wrap my head around half of them, but I can get some of these to work uh, based off of a little bit of research I did. If you go to Google and type in Porter Duff, and we want this Porter Duff compositing and blend modes, I'm going to click on that. So those are those two symbols that I'm using, a, a triangle and the and symbol, remotely similar at least. And reading through this, uh, I should be all about doing this type of stuff because it's colors and it's algebra and all that crazy stuff. But anyway, uh, down here towards the bottom, these are some of the things that we want to try to achieve with these two symbols, a triangle and the and symbol. So I have those two items inside of a group in KOWP. And uh, first and foremost, I mean, some of these are pretty easy to obtain, obviously like the over and the destination over or whatever these things mean. Uh, I can't give you a lesson on this. For those of you who are good with Photoshop and graphics editing apps, you probably are a lot more familiar with these than I am. But for example, um, I can just change the triangle. I can move the triangle down to here and it's going to put the triangle on top of it. So that's all about layering in KOWP. You know, whichever one is the furthest down in this list is going to be the one that's at the top so we can get you know that one there and that one there relatively quickly um, for these here I can achieve or I can show you how to get all three of these where we're kind of cutting the and symbol out of the triangle and then we're cutting the triangle out of the and symbol and then we have like uh, this X or I can kind of explain that to you as well so let me go ahead and show you how to cut the and symbol out of the triangle I'm going to go to the and symbol which is this one here, and I'm going to set its paint to clear. And I've done quite a few videos on clear, but you know, kind of bringing a couple of other ones together. And what's important here to note is that it depends on how you have these things layered. So if I do that, uh, the and symbol is not clearing out the triangle because of the way we have them layered. But remember, again, I did set the paint of this and, I did set its paint to clear. So it's going to clear out whatever's beneath it inside of that group. So notice we did achieve that one right there. Let's take the paint, let's take that clear filter off of the uh, and symbol. So I'm gonna set that back to normal. And let's now set the clear to the triangle so we can cut the triangle out of the and symbol. So going to the triangle, it's paint, going to clear. And you'll notice that the triangle disappeared. Again, this is about the layering. So if I drag the triangle down, which puts it on top, we are cutting the triangle out of the and symbol. All right. Now for the X or, uh, let's go to the triangle. Let's take its paint off or the clear setting off back to normal. And I think it doesn't matter which one you set the X or to. I can try to explain this to you a little bit, but I'm gonna click on the XOR. And what we have here is, I have it set to just that one. Now, if I were to do this, for example, um, notice that little setting goes away because the triangle is now beneath the AND symbol. And we can actually set them both uh, to XOR and we're still gonna get the same effect by having them both set to XOR. Uh, really what's gonna happen is regardless of which one's on top, the paint filter is always going to be applied. But really what this does is, is wherever the two shapes overlap, it clears it out. Notice where the triangle and the AND symbol overlap, it clears out the parts where they overlap. Wherever they don't overlap, you're just going to see the original color or the original image. Notice the blue here, the blue here, 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 and then the orange pieces because that's the parts where they don't overlap. So that's uh, this first row done. Now this one here, I don't think we can do this. Uh, you may say, well, sure we can. We can just cut out the, uh, we can use the clipping mask. Let me show you uh, uh, somewhat of an effect we can get here. Let's take those paint filters off. So with those two paint filters off, what we can kind of do here is we, can, we can't get this effect. Uh, we can't use a text item to mask something. We can use a shape to mask something. For example, here, um, if I go into the triangle and I go to FX and I go to mask and I'm just going to select clip all. I only have one item uh, to clip here. 
Now we make sure the triangle's up above here and we notice nothing's happening. Sometimes the advanced editor does not load that, but if we start moving stuff around, um, now the mask is taking effect, but it's not taking effect like I think it should and probably like you think it should. It almost seems like the triangle should be clipping you know, inside of here. And even if we save this and go back to the home screen, that clip is not working exactly like you think it should. And it's all about the triangle, the way I have it rotated and sized, but we can come in here and, and notice the big thing here that we can't do that I would like to be able to do is use a text item as a mask. If we go to this text item here and we go to FX, there is no mask option. So that would be a great option to maybe uh, have implemented in the KOWP in the future. I don't know how complex that is or anything, but uh, just throwing that out there because what's happening is if you notice the and symbol is originally blue, yet now it's orange. So it's like the orange triangle is laying on top of the and symbol and it's only showing the and symbol. So it's kind of crazy, but it, we can't get that effect here. So some of these, like I said, I can't wrap my head around it. If any of you can figure these out, please share it in the comment section below because I have seen quite a few questions at the help.custom.rocks website, as well as the KOWP uh, G plus community. Now, what we could do though, inside of here is we can take this triangle and we can you know, mess around with the uh, various settings. So notice how I'm kind of just adjusting the size of that triangle and I'm kind of getting close to that, but it looks more like this one where uh, I'm using the triangle to clip and mask. And now we have that effect right there. So something remotely close to that, but we can't get the orange one unless we physically change the text color to that orange. All right. So we can get some of these screens and multiplies. Uh, some of these other, other ones down here, the plus, we can do that. I don't think there's any options inside of here, inside of KOWP to get these to work. Um, the darken and the light, and I, I wasn't able to obtain pretty much anything with those. But again, please comment below if you have any solutions to some of these. So going back into that group, let's take that mask off of the triangle. And again, if it doesn't show up correctly, you can save or probably if I just drag these, it'll refresh it. So there's our uh, same effect. And now I'm going to throw the and symbol uh, back in. Let's do it in front. Let's throw it in front of the triangle like we have here. And let's mess with the multiply. So I'm going to go to the and symbol. I'm going to paint and I'm going to set it to multiply. So what that does, it does not look like any of these over here. And that's, I think it has something to do with the, the alpha and the background of the actual and symbol. Um, I, again, I can't wrap my head around all of this, but you do see that we are making the and symbol darker at least. It's almost like it should be this one, but it's not quite showing all of the orange triangle behind there. Uh, let's come and let's set, let's take the multiply off of this one and let's apply it to the triangle. Now, when we first do this, it's not going to do anything, I don't think, because it is behind the and symbol. As you can see, it just takes the triangle away. Uh, let's come back and change the layering and see what happens there. Uh, there we go. So now we're getting something like that. Um, changing the multiply on the triangle and then dragging the triangle up in front of the and symbol. So we are getting something remotely similar to that right there. All right, and last but not least, let's look at the... Oh, well, screen. Let's look at screen and plus. They kind of look similar, if you ask me. Actually, there's not that much of a difference, except for maybe a slight color difference between some of them. I see a difference here and here in some of the colors. But I'm going to go to that triangle. Let's go to its paint, and let's set the filter to screen. Um, read up on the website, and now if I have it set to screen, so we're getting something like this remotely similar. We're seeing both symbols. What happens if we set screen to the and symbol as well? Let's see if that changes anything. Um, it doesn't like it's going to change much of anything there. Let's take the screen off of the and symbol and let's drag the and symbol in front of the triangle. So that's taken away the screen filter that the triangle had. Dragging that back, we get that little pink color back in there. Um, read up on actually what's happening to the colors. Why are these colors changing to a pink and all that? Uh, I Again, I'm, not, I'm sorry, I can't explain too much there. But let's, uh, one more time, let's go down here, here to triangle, go to paint, let's go set the filter to add, which I think is what plus means pretty much. And we're getting the lighter color of the pink. Um, there is a slight difference between add, check out this color here, and if I go to multiply, uh, well, not multiply, my bad, screen. 
that pink there, it looks a little bit different. Does it look a little bit different? Let's see here. It, yeah, it, the, the ad looks a touch lighter than what the screen did. So something's going on with the way the colors mix together there. Um, I want to throw a few of these ideas out there to you to get you to experiment with them and also to uh, get you to communicate back. If you have any solutions on getting some of these other ones to work in KOWP, please share them below because I'm sure a lot of people could benefit from that. But there you have it, a, a quick overview of some of the paint filters, uh, ones that I've been able to get to work and half of them that I have not. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.